Okay, now, continuing with the athlete's mind, um, one thing that I've noticed, which is a good trend, is people moved away from um, the staying in trouble athletes, okay? And y'all know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about the ones that were doing gangs, always getting in legal trouble because they're athletes, assuming they were going to get out of it. And if you notice, I started all this with, I let X own some stuff. I told people, I even let him that seventh grade year. I said, you don't know what it feels like to fail a class or have you want to say it and not get to run, right? So let him feel certain things. Now, I will say this to folks. I don't know who watched too much TV, but this is not divergent, okay? You have some silly people that decided to do some kind of social experiment. We, we know what it was. The, the grounded well-rounded people looking at this stuff going, this is some crazy stuff. My brother-in-law and I actually talked about it because you now have teachers quitting because how they tried to moderate some, I mean, how they tried to manipulate some of the education to try to filter out who's the worker and the hunter and the elite and all this. But now if you see what God has done, he got jokes because it's some, it's the well-rounded people looking at some of the elite people, right? Like y'all have you, you're not making any sense, lack common sense. And so that's where I feel like God is kind of pulling people back down and grounded where he selects certain people that you'll never think. That's how God operates with no certain stuff. And so first that ego kind of shakes people. I'm like, where does she come from? Who is she? She don't even have a degree. Da -da -da -da. How does she know? The challenge is absolutely going to happen. That's fine. So I got past that. So I'm pulling people back into that mind realm of things again. Now we talked about Charlie Strong. Great program, but my brother-in-law said it real. He had three years to get that program together. Say, And he's a UT fan, my brother-in-law, big UT fan. And he said if they had three more games, all they had to do was win two, and they lost three. You know, and he's like, so, you know, what can you do with that? And he said exactly what I said before. You can have an athlete lose too much edge, okay? You can become so focused on, yes, cleaning house as far as what they messed up on, right? But you can clean house so much that now you have all these, yes, the academics are great, but some of them lost their edge. As you kind of seen with the last two games, it's like you don't need, you don't even have enough edge to pull these two games out. So in a way, they're my, it's, it's like minds being strong academically, but being weak when it came to having to play on that field. And that's what I was trying to school some of the athletes on. It's like all that drama, we're going to protest. Can you play? That is a very real statement. Stop making everything now about race. We have to start getting more real with stuff. And at the end of the day, it, as much as people are getting pissed off at what I'm saying, can you play football? Because that's what you're getting the scholarship for. Great, you make good grades, but they're still expecting performance from the field. So you can focus so much on academics, you can take that edge away from that athlete. See, I have the other way to go with X now. That edge is there, right? You wouldn't think it because of his demeanor, but that edge is there. When you see him playing or running, you go, oh, he, he, you know, he'll get us aggressive when he needs to. Now we move on to the academics, but I need to stress this to people, and I want a lot of parents to consider this. There's teachers now quitting behind some of the way they're doing this curriculum. This is where, again, um, Xavier's uh, grandmother's PhD in education, okay, on his dad's side. My mother's LMSW, so... It, they know how I am about degrees. I don't have a degree. I happen to pick a field, IT, that a degree wasn't absolutely necessary, right? But I'm also looking at this world of all these people that got so focused on degrees, they lost a little bit of that edge. Because now you're looking at America and like, why is America, why are things so weak now and all that? Because people started thinking they were this was divergent or something. I don't know what happened. But everybody started trying to pick people apart and be like, you're going to be the hunter. You're going to be, no, 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 no. You have to be well-rounded. So now, even though these people are cleaning these athletic programs up of the bad apples and all that, sometimes, and I'm not saying keep the bad apples, what I'm saying is not every athlete is going to be a athlete, a honor roll, A, B, all that. It's just not real, not realistic because they changed the curriculum. And so I, when I started discovering a lot of what's happening, teachers actually quitting because they're frustrated by the curriculum. It's like, we're actually dumber now thinking they're so smart trying to figure out who's the lead and who's the hunter and who's this people overall are, are a little bit dumber and so we got to kind of go back and start looking like it was that in our best interest no it's time to get real it was about creating more rail rounded people okay that is where we need to get back to take care